and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is Lavinia and I post beauty videos regarding makeup skincare acne acne positivity and just making you feel good in your own skin we post all unfiltered reviews really real raw makeup reviews on textured skin because that's not really shown on social media so thank you so much for watching if you're new here and if you um, are a regular viewer hi thank you so much for coming back to my videos I'm very excited for today's video because we are putting a lot to the test I have so many new drugstore products that I was like you know what I just need to sit down and review these so we have the new Revolu makeup revolution skin silk foundation this is a serum foundation we have the new irl filter concealer we have some products from pixie including a setting powder and primer we have the new wet and wild blushes which i already opened up here some new lip products from nyx these are their new plumping glosses as well as an eyeshadow palette to try out we are also testing out the new panorama mascara from l'oreal and we even put to the test the new silk lip um lipsticks right here these this beautiful collection that we dove into so lots of new products to try out and i'm wearing them all obviously right now but i want to get into the application to show you guys how these products all applied on the skin and then we're also going to be doing a all day wear test so i'm gonna check in with you guys at the end of the day and also show you how this look looks like in different lighting so this is a really in-depth review on some new drugs for makeup that has just released or is new to me as well so yeah we're gonna dive right into that but before we do i do have to remind you to go check out my podcast loud talk with Lavi, we post every single Sunday on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple. New episodes every single week where we break down the walls of beauty standards one flaw at a time. We interview so many amazing guests that are in the social media world, that are founders of makeup brands, that have made an impact to break down those walls of beauty standards, and I'm so honored to have them on and have these amazing conversations with them. So definitely go check out the podcast. We go live on YouTube, Apple, Spotify, and every streaming platform every single Sunday at 7 a.m. MST, so I'd love to see you there. If you want more long-form videos um, and more conversation like content from me but without further ado let's jump right on into this tell me baby what's the problem because i could try to figure it out all right i am so excited to jump into this i have a full bin here of new drugstore products i also have some boxes i also have the new makeup revolution skin loving serum foundation as well as the wet n wild new blushes to try out lots of stuff to get into so let's jump right into this i'm going to zoom you guys in a bit closer and let's start on this full face. All right, so I've already went in with sunscreen. I just used Face the Day for my brand 9 to 5 to prep my skin for the day. And now we're going to jump right in with primer. So uh, first off, we have this um, product from Pixi. This is the Pixi by Petra uh, Flawless Beauty Primer. It's supposed to be a hydrating glow primer. And I'm really excited to try it. It's called Flawless Beauty Primer Even Skin. I haven't tried that many products from pixie in terms of like their makeup so i'm excited to try this out i think between this and the silk foundation we're gonna go for a very glowy look today i'm gonna start with that much product oh okay oh it does have quite a bit of tint to it i wasn't expecting that so it's tackling a little bit of my redness there already and it's kind of giving that really glowy look to the skin okay wow that is for sure glowy i feel like in the summer i could even apply this on bare skin Skin and see like how that that looks just to give me that glow nice and hydrating that's for sure what do we think it's definitely emphasizing some of my texture i will say that just because i mean it's a glowy product it's gonna do that but i do feel like if you're looking for that glow this might give that to you i don't know how much this is like my favorite product but i think if you had like smoother skin this might work really really nicely um but yeah I don't know i have definitely other favorites when it comes to like this glowy of a primer i also do have two setting sprays from pixie one is a makeup mist and then one is like a wake up mist mist so we're gonna start with the wake up mix i cannot speak this is too many words in like too many tongue twisters so this is the vitamin wake up mist wake up mist okay so this is supposed to be a um, orange blossom and citrus extract energizing facial water. So Pixie has a ton of these facial waters. I'll give it a shake. I'm just gonna use this kind of as my primer today as well. Ooh, smells very florally, but I just wanted it to give a little bit of that boost of like 
hydration and refreshment to the face. I don't know why my bottle is leaking so much, but that feels nice. I would have to see like if it really does anything, but I just like a facial mist, you know, to start off my makeup because I just feel like it just hydrates the skin a little bit for everything to sit nicer on top. So let's jump into the foundation now. We have the Skin Silk Skin Loving Serum Foundation. I love this bag that it came in. And then, so cute, they like customize the box and it says for Lavi on here. So this is just so adorable. Let's open her up. Okay, we have three shades here, but I, I don't know how many shades actually come in the full um, collection. But I have the shades F3, F4, and F5. Five. I do feel like their shade range actually goes pretty dark, but um, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about that. So I think I'm going to try out shade F3. I feel like it's a little hard to tell in the bottles, but let's open this up and see if it's a good match. I'm very eager to try this foundation out. I love anything that says like skin loving because usually these nice like lightweight glowy foundations actually look really really good on more textured skin and for a lot of people they think you know if i have acne i need to be using high coverage foundation to make sure that it's covering everything but in my opinion sometimes lightweight products can actually look so much better on acne prone skin because it's if giving you a little bit of the coverage but still letting your skin peek through so then nothing will look super cakey i love how much i'm struggling to open <laughs> This package here there we go so here's what the bottle looks like it comes in a nice glass bottle and then it has a pump as well I wonder how this shade will be oh yeah I think the shade will be a good match I think the other ones would be too dark for me. so for yeah that'd be too dark so we're gonna stick to shade f3 all right so I just had to I did a little demo for TikTok, but I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side so I'm using like a flat brush because I just want to see how this formula really works to be smoothed out and it is smoothing out really really nicely a little bit goes a long way you can actually shear this out quite a bit and for some reason I got the most random like dry cystic acne going on in this situation right here school has been so stressful lately and that always gets shown the most on my skin but what do we think of that initial application because i think that looks absolutely stunning on the skin like wow that is really really beautiful let's go in with one more like half pump on the forehead wow that is gorgeous i kind of want to grab sponge here and try just doing like another layer with a sponge to see how that blends out so i'm just gonna go with this and i'll be right back all right so i have my sponge i'm just gonna do a little half pump not too much and we're just gonna go over it's just really blending in flawlessly into the skin look at that and it's just sitting so nicely it's really giving that luminous look i am very impressed i was not expecting to like this foundation this much but like wow that looks really good on the skin so far it's giving it's really really giving i'm loving how this is sitting on the skin very very impressed right off the bat with that wow this might be a new favorite foundation i gotta say all right let's move right along i do have a new concealer to try out which is also from makeup revolution this one i actually it's more new to me it came out like last year but i actually never got around to trying it so i'm really excited this is the in real life filter finish soft matte concealer Ooh, I'm very excited to try this, so let's open this up. Okay, so I have the shade C2, and it looks like it's going to be a lighter shade, so hopefully we can do a little bit of highlighting with this. So this is supposed to be a long wear, breathable, 16-hour formula, and it's also oil-free and waterproof as well. So it's really supposed to be that, like, locked-in long wear concealer. All right, so right off the bat, this is a very interesting applicator. As you can see, it kind of has, like, a crazy angle to it i've never seen an applicator with this shape but i'm kind of digging it so i'm just applying this right under the eyes like this this is my usual placement and then i'm going to highlight the forehead a little bit and then doing some spot concealing with this as well because i want to see how it sits on some of my more dry patches definitely has like a very soft like liquidy formula but not like too too liquidy i feel like this is gonna be a nice coverage the shade i love i think this is the perfect shade match for me concealer wise because it's not too light or not too dark 
I'm gonna use a wet sponge here and just go ahead and start blending this out. Do we see how it's sitting under the eye there? I feel like makeup can't like obviously act like a filter because it's makeup and it's still gonna show your real skin underneath and you're still gonna see that texture and everything, but is it just me or is this like giving my skin a little bit of that blurred effect? I have to say it's sitting really flawlessly on the skin and like even over my spots over here like there are some dry cystic spots but i just feel like it's sitting really nicely like it's not emphasizing anything i feel like the skin looks really nice and glowy but not too glowy kind of that soft matte guys i think i might have just found my new favorite concealer and maybe my new favorite skin tint too like these are the skin is skinning today i think this might be a really good makeup day so far all right time to set we are trying out a new powder this is the pixie h2o skin veil hydrating loose powder hydrating hydrating loose powder so interesting okay um i've never really tried like too much of a hydrating loose powder i've tried glowy powders and all that but never something that's actually supposed to hydrate the skin so let's see if this does that i'm a little just concerned about the color of this because it is like a stark white and sometimes these don't come off looking that translucent but i'm just gonna pat some out wow it is very finely milled it literally looks like powdered sugar i do want to try it with my sponge so i'm using the clean side here and let's just go right under the eye yeah, definitely a very bright powder oh that did blend out really easily though it's not giving like any extra coverage i don't it is blurring out a little bit but it's definitely a very translucent white powder i also do want to try it with a makeup puff what side do i think i like more okay i think the makeup puff side blurred a little bit more but i do think the sponge allowed the white powder to blend into the skin more but i will say it's not emphasizing any dryness it's not sticking into the creases of my eyes sometimes that can happen i'm kind of just emphasizing any dryness under the eye it's not really doing that is it hydrating my skin i don't know i don't know but it's not like it doesn't feel tight on the face or anything like that so i'm just gonna kind of set everywhere that i usually do with this i'm gonna set the eyelids as well i do like it i think for a drugstore loose powder it is nice i wish Maybe they do have more shades in this because I feel like this one, you know, won't work for everyone. I'm pretty pale and it is looking a little pasty on me as well. So if you're any deeper of a skin tone, I feel like this won't really work for you. But I will say the formula is very, very finely milled. So I do appreciate that about it all right let's keep moving on i have a new brow pencil to try out this is the nyx zero to brow long wear brow gel oh this is so interesting oh i actually have two new brow products to try out i almost forgot i have a new one from makeup revolution they sent it over in this really cool package look at this boom before and after um so this is the fluffy brow duo we also have the mascara but i have a new l'oreal mascara try out today so i kind of want to try that out instead so this is supposed to be um this in the shade granite and this is a double-ended brow look at the shape of this oh and then we have a clear brow wow that is the smallest brow gel i've ever seen in my life that is insane all right so i just did my brow over here and it literally took two seconds to do so let me show you so this side has the pencil and it has this like angle to it as you can see there it's like only on one side so i think you're supposed to hold it like this and then you can create like very am i supposed to do this on the other side because it worked so well on this brow oh, i kind of messed it up at the beginning there almost need one that's like angled from my right brow and one that's angled from my left brow that didn't work that amazing i'm gonna clean it up on the bottom i will say it's very easy to use and then you can just brush through and then you can take the tiniest little brow gel known to man and really get in there and i will say it's actually fluffing up the brows really really well i haven't done voluminous brows like this in a minute this tool is really letting me do that well <laughs> next we're gonna do some blush bring some color back to the face these are new from wet n wild we have a bunch of blushes here to try, so let's just take them all out. I have tried these blushes before. 
Um, but I don't know if they reformulated them or what's going on here. But nonetheless, I am very, very excited um, because I love Wet n Wild products. So first of all, there is a deeper shade called Naked Brown. I kind of want to use this kind of as my contour today. So I kind of want to do like a blush bronzer contour moment. See how it's like a bit of a brown color. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and let's just do, oh yes, it's very warm. Oh, maybe I went in too much. Too much, too much, okay. Let's just blend and do a little like blush contouring moment with this. It's gonna be a very, very warm but I think that's kind of what we're going for. I've never done this type of application before, so we're trying it out together. But I feel like it's actually looking nice. It's giving me that warm glow. I'm gonna go very light-handed on the forehead because I don't want my forehead to go very orange. But I'm just adding some color back to it. Down the neck a little bit too. Oh my God. I haven't done brows like this in so long and because I haven't done my eyeshadow I feel like it looks crazy but we'll neutralize that out. Um, what blush should I try? I really think I want to go for Mellow Wine because this one used to be one of my favorites. There's also Bed of Roses which is really pretty. But I kind of want to go for this one. Mellow Wine. I used to love this shade from Wet Wild. Like back when they had the rectangular packaging. Do you guys remember that? That was so, so OG. So let's dip in here and blush up the cheeks. Oh, I'm so obsessed with these blushes. They're the perfect, like, matte nude blush. So good, and this shade is everything. It's the perfect warm tone blush. They sit so well on textured skin. I used to love these when I was like 15, and I still love them to this day. I love so excited about these. You okay, know, never mind, I just read this. It says um, that they had, it's featuring three of their best seller shades and two new shades. So we have new shades, not new formula. All right, so next we have to move on to some eyeshadow. I have this new palette from NYX. This is the ultimate Paradise Shock eyeshadow palette. And look how gorgeous this arrangement is. One, I love how compact this palette is, but there's so many beautiful shades in here. So let's just start. I wanna do something really fun. And kind of glam today so i'm gonna start in this beautiful brown shade right here that i was eyeing these are a little dusty but i'm gonna start with this in the crease i actually haven't tried too many nyx eyeshadow palettes actually no that's a lie i've tried a lot i just don't have any of them anymore and i do feel like they're pretty decent eyeshadows for the price level that blended out really really nicely there i definitely need more of a glam eyeshadow look to match up these brows just because I haven't done my brows this fluffy and intense in a minute. So blending out really nicely in the crease there. And then I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Kind of use this on the outer part to blend. I wish there was like a medium brown in here, but I'm going to go into this warm leaf shade. Ooh, it's a very nice orangey brown. Tap it right here warm up the center of the crease i'm going to take this all the way in to the crease as well then i'm going to go into the deep brown and tap this on the outer corner just tap it don't blend it yet just tap it and then i'm going to use the other side of the brush and start just slightly buffing the shade in to really smoke and deepen up the eye. I want to create like a soft matte look so I'm going to take a little bit of the concealer that we used from Makeup Revolution and take it on a little brush here and I'm going to cut the crease. Just do like a half cut crease. I'm really going back to the 2016 makeup here with the brows and the soft uh, like warm eyeshadow and the half cut crease we're doing the whole thing here i'm obsessed with how this eye look is turning out but i do kind of just want to pop into here is it too much like is that red too much or will it be fun i don't know let me just mix these two right here very slightly oh yeah 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 this is the right move this will just add a little bit of a fun color there yeah I love that, just to spice it up, perfect. And then I'm going to take this beautiful light gold in the palette, I'm just gonna pop that onto the inner corner. Honestly, when I do like more of these high glam, honestly, when I do more of these high glam looks, I kind of like to just 
do like a soft matte all over the lid. I think it looks so pretty. The eyes are almost done. We just need to hop in with some mascara. This is the new L'Oreal Voluminous Panorama Mascara. Very, very excited to try this. This is supposed to make the eye look up to 1.4 times bigger. I don't think I've ever used a mascara and thought, hmm, that made my eye bigger. Like, ever. Ever. So I'm going to give the lashes a quick curl first. We all know L'Oreal kills it when it comes to mascaras. So let's try this out. All right, so I applied it to this side of the eye, and I do feel like it lifted. It did everything it needed to do. This is what the applicator looks like. It's a bristle applicator, but it has like the short end and the thick end. So I feel like it's going to give that nice volume. I always feel like I like a mascara most a few weeks in to me using it. Like when the formula has just started to dry up just a tad, I feel like that's when it applies the best onto the lashes. But... I do have to say, I think this is a good one. Nice drugstore mascara. I mean, these drugstore prices nowadays are getting a little bit out of hand, I must say. But that is giving me length. Like, look at that. That is giving super, super length. And it's easy to get in on the lower lashes. Oh yeah, I like this. This is gonna definitely be one I use a lot more. Let's move on to the lips because I have three new lip products to try out. So starting off with the lip liner. These are from Essence. These are the soft and precise lip pencils. I have these shades. What shades do we have? Legendary and My Choice. I'm kind of leaning towards My Choice instead of Legendary. I kind of like a nude with a little bit of pink to it. This is what the shade looks like right there. So let's just go ahead and apply it. I typically go for lip liners that are a bit darker. Just because I have smaller lips. So I find a darker lip liner can accentuate my lips more. But I do like a good pencil liner. And I will say this formula is more on the stiff side, which I also really like. I have a stupid lip pimple there that's so annoying. They are the worst and the most painful. Okay, I like that. Would I prefer a darker color? Definitely, but the formula is nice. If you like a lip liner more on the dry side, I would definitely recommend this. If you like something more creamy, you'll probably not like these, but they're definitely nice. All right, and next we have a whole new lip allure from Makeup Revolution. Look at this, guys. Ta-da! These look amazing. I cannot wait to try them out. I don't even know what shade to hop into. These are the Soft as Silk Lips. So this matches the foundation. I'm very, very excited about this. Okay, I'm trying out the shade. I'm trying out the shade at a Chauffeur Nude. One thing about this packaging I don't like is they have these, like, stickers on them and i get when i open the lipstick this happened to actually take the lipsticker off so don't love that the rest of the packaging is really really beautiful so hopefully i can get this off so it doesn't ruin the whole vibe but so far it has a very soft velvety feel it's very soft but you can see like the buildup of the product like you can layer a ton of these on the lips if you know what i mean i kind of want to try out wifey dusky pink interesting name and you'll see here what i mean about these because you can't just like open them you have to like, take this sticker off Ooh, this color looks also stunning i'm gonna add a bit to the other corners oh i like this nude definitely a soft pillowy feel to them but it's also that formula that might slip and slide a little bit if you don't have a lip liner there is the lipstick on so yeah definitely like i wouldn't layer too much products over this um but like i know i just said that but we do have a new lip gloss to try out so this is from nyx this is the duck plump lip gloss i think it's a lip gloss right extreme sensation it says it's a high pigment plumping gloss and i have lots of shades here actually but the shade that is absolutely screaming to me which um, I think I have to use is this one because I actually bought this shade and then Nick sent it to me as well. So clearly I really loved it because it's the one that like stood out to me in the store. But we also have some really beautiful ones. We have um, Hall of Flame. It's this beautiful red. We have um, Strike of Rose. This is stunning. And then I also have this clear one in the shade Clearly Spicy very very interesting i'm very curious to try out this formula so one of these will go in a giveaway because now i have two of them so let's go ahead and try this out oh very interesting applicator i thought it would be like one of those big juicy applicators but it's not it's very much not um it's supposed to be highly oh yes it is highly pigmented yep 
that. Okay, let's just go right in with this. So the color kind of matches, but I'm curious how spicy this will be. Oh, I can feel it already, the tingling. Extreme sensation. Okay, this is definitely plumping. Oh, I really like this formula. I feel like this is the perfect formula that you can just throw on over a lip liner. It is hot. It is hot and it is plumping for sure, but I would throw this on a lip liner and just go with that. But I like this. It's plumping, but not too crazy either. Also, there's no scent to it, which I really, really enjoy. All right, let's set this all down. We have the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist. This is rose water and green tea. I'm curious if this will like make my makeup last longer or if it's just like a nice melt the makeup into the skin. Let's see. Don't love the mist on that. Oh, it's giving, it's giving grandma scent. <laughs> really giving grandma scent with the rose in there should have expected that and that just wet my whole face so intensely so i definitely think it's more of a refresh setting spray rather than like a lock your makeup in setting spray let me let that dry down there all right so here is the finished makeup look i honestly love how this turned out i feel very glam glowy very warm very 2016 makeup look for sure i'm very curious to see how these products last especially the foundation and the concealer and then also to see you know how this powder sits under the eyes throughout the night i'm going to keep the lips uh lip products on me just to reapply as well um just in case but i'm gonna wear this makeup for the rest of the night and really put it to the test but first i have to show you guys how this looks like in different lighting so here is away from the ring light so you can see that texture pop up a bit more and then here is some good old bathroom lighting i think this gives a really realistic look of how it looks in like overhead not so flattering lighting and then here is some natural lighting i think this also just gives a really real life look on how the makeup appears um to the naked eye so yeah that is the finished look and i'll check with you guys at the end of the night i did a bad thing i fell asleep with my makeup on in the middle of the movie and now it's the middle of the night but maybe it's gonna give her a better full-on wear test so obviously makeup wore off over here because i was sleeping on this side and then i usually turn yeah boom wore off there too um but honestly the lips are gone i ate and all that but the center of the face like i feel like the product's still there the concealer is definitely still intact and it did not crease so that concealer i'm definitely gonna be using again because wow that was really good as well as the powder and the foundation i did really like before i fell asleep i did look in the mirror and i thought my makeup actually looked really really nice really really smooth all night and still had like life to it if that makes sense and i don't see that it like settled into my lines obviously it's worn off now but pretty good the eyeshadow actually stayed really well intact usually that's like gone you know it fades this one really stayed and i even see some of the blush there so that's pretty good but yeah that's the wear test guys i'm really impressed by this new drugstore makeup i tried out sorry i fell asleep but you really got a full full wear test there so um thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and go check my other socials on instagram and tiktok at living and check out the podcast loud talk with lavi my skincare line nine to five skin i think that's everything thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future upload and tell me baby what's the